All right, today I have the Swifter Power Mop and I'm gonna show you how to use it. I'm going to assemble it, put it together, and show you how to use it on the floor. So here it is right here. I'm gonna go over some of the instructions with this Swifter Power Mop. Right here it says, right here it's five times cleaning power and it freshens for hours. You can get 300, it says right here, coming a little closer so you can see that, 300 scrubbing strips, okay? 300 plus scrubbing strips in here, okay? So these are the scrubbing strips in here. This is why they call it the power mop. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and we're gonna to get to using this Swifter power mop, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and open it up at the top, right there. You're gonna to wanna to stick to it, stick in, stay in, because I'm gonna show you some of the tricks that come with this Swifter power mop to get your floors sparkling clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. And inside, you're like, what's inside? Well, I'm gonna show you what's inside. So here is the main part of this. I'm gonna put this together in a momentarily. But meanwhile, I'm gonna check inside here and see what else is in here. So here are, this is the, I guess the power mop phalange things that they were talking about where it says that there are 300 plus in here. And here is the actual Swifter power mop. I'm gonna assemble that in a second, but first I'm gonna open this up because this looks kind of interesting. And right here it says safe on wood and all finished floors right here, okay? So that's where they're saying, it's saying it's safe for on wood and all finished floors for this Swifter Power Mop mopping pad right here. I wanna see how many comes in here. It says, oh, also inside, it's saying that there are batteries in here. So batteries are included. They are not exclu excluded with this Swifter Power Mop mopping pad. So let me go ahead and open this up. Back it says five times clean power with 300 plus scrubbing strips. We'll see about that. So I'm gonna open this up like a bag of Doritos. And here are the Swifter strips right here. Let me check out the batteries in here. So here are the batteries that come included in here. They are not Duracell, they say Nanfing. Don't know what Nanfing means, but that must be the thing. Nanfing, the Swifter batteries. And right here are the questions. Make sure you read this before you assemble us and attempt to use your Swifter. All right, so I'm gonna to toss this. Actually, I'm gonna recycle that because I'm trying to save the planet. All right, so here are, so inside comes two different power mops. Smell kind of fresh. I wonder if they have some sort of solution on them. I'm not sure, but inside here, these are the 300 Swifter phalanges that they were gonna talk about. I'm gonna put these to the side, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the battery pack, get these ready for it. And so the batteries are ready. And so let's take a look at the Swifter power mop. I'm gonna assemble it, okay? So in here is some sort of cotton. I'm guessing I'm gonna pull it out. But first, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the Swifter. I'm going to go ahead and take this right here. Do you see this? It looks like it's just dangling like a pair of, uh, or a set of really cool nunchucks, right? But you're going to use this. There's a cord inside, so you have to be careful with this. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this in. And you slide it into a slot until it hears a snap. That's the first one. And then the second one, I'm gonna tuck my cord a little bit. Seems like it was pulled out too much, but no fears. I'm gonna tuck my cord. And then I'm gonna make sure that this is upright, just like this, the handle's upright. And there's some notches. Do you see these notches right here? These notches are or slide in. So it slides all the way in and it snaps into place. So these are the notches that I was talking about right here. You see these? These notches right here, slit those into place, the ones at the bottom in place. 
And then we're gonna take a look at the back end side. So right here is a piece of cardboard. This is gonna supposed to be removed before you take it off, but we'll get to that. And we're gonna put in the batteries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this protective covering right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead, push that up. And when I push this up, do you see this right here? I'm gonna show you again. This is how you insert the batteries in the Swifter power mop, okay? Flip it on the back side. This is the front of the Swifter. Go on the back side of the Swifter, pull it up like that, and right here, voila. And so with this open, you'll see inside of where to actually align the batteries. So you see the nipple side right here. It shows the nipple side is the plus side. So I'm gonna put the nipple side like that for that one right there. And then the nipple side is facing over here, see the plus? So I'm gonna put the nipple side facing this way, right there. And so once I have this in here secure, I just simply roll it around like this to make sure they're, they're nice and secure in there. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna push this in right back to where it was on the back side of the Swifter, slide it back into place. So you have the batteries in there. Now we have to go ahead and remove this cotton piece right here, as well as put the Swifter pads, mopping pads on there. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and try to move this cardboard out. Now, as you notice, the cardboard does not come out easily. And that's because you need to press this button right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this. And you see how what I did? I pressed this button and then I pulled this outwards, okay? I guess I didn't have to do press the button, did I? I have to press the button shortly, so I pull this out. For the initial, you could just pull this out and then take this cardboard out of here, all right? So once this is out, remember this is the power mop solution right here. So if you need, you run out of solution, you can go, uh, you can get a new bottle of this and put it in. And so if you look on the side, before I go ahead and put it back in, I'm gonna show you what it shows right here, what it says right here. Come in closer so you can see this. All right, so it says, our bottle come, bottles come cap down, ready to go. So it's cap down, ready to go, do you see this? This is the bottom down. I'm gonna insert in a little bit. And right here it says, insert the bottle into the mop. It's showing you the description right there for number two. Number three, push down to click the bottle into place. Okay, that's number three. All right, four, push the button to eject the bottle when empty. So when it's empty, remember that button I was showing you right here? You'll press this to eject the bottle. So I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Swifter Power Mop Solution in here. And it says you put, the, put this right here and you're gonna hear a click. Okay, you're gonna click it into place. So it's right here. Click into place. I'm going to stay silent for a second, starting now, all right? And you'll hear a click, okay, starting now. Didn't hear much of a click, but it is definitely in place right here, all right? So it's secure. Now, remember, if you want to take it out to replace it with a new one, you press this button, it pops up, pull it out like that. So I'm going to take this, slide it back down, it clicked into place. It won't budge like that, you see that? So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the pads on it. So if you look at the bottom, there is nothing right here. This is just, looks like rubber or whatever it is right here. And on the top, you have some sprayers, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna look at this, and you're gonna think, Maybe I should be peeling this off. Maybe this is some sort of sticky thing or whatever. But no, that is not the case. All right, so what you're gonna do is, after you've tried to peel this off, you should not peel this off because this is not how it works. You just simply place this down here like that, flat down like that, and press it. You see that? I just pressed it on here and it stuck down there like that. So. With that said, do not, do not peel this off, okay? This adheres to the back of the rubber by itself, so do not make the mistake of peeling this off. And I'm gonna show you again. Just take this, 
It comes off easily like that, right? When you're done, you peel it off like that. So just take this, align it, press down, and it sticks. All right, so now that it's, it's sticking, what you're going to do is you're ready to go ahead and rock and roll. And so when you're ready to rock and roll, let me pull this up a little bit so you can see it. All right, so when you're ready to rock and roll, you're just going to go ahead and take this. And you see this right here? You press this button. And when you press the button, you'll hear it move. I'm coming closer so you can see this. So I'm going to press this button at the top. And all of a sudden, solution starts spraying out. Let me get it closer so you can see the solution being sprayed out. So I'm going to go ahead and press the button. Look at that. It's spraying out. So I'm going to go ahead and mop with this and show you. So I'm, I'm spraying it. And when you're spraying it, you don't need to constantly have your finger on the button. You can basically just spray it to get enough solution wet on the bottom of the pad and just go back and forth. And what I like to do is I like to go with the grain to get the most out of this. You see this right here? Getting the most out of the solution right here. And as soon as the pad gets wet, you probably won't have to spray as much solution down on to the flooring because there is enough solution soaked up inside of the pad. And so I'm gonna keep on going like this. I'm going to get some grain a little bit. Pressing the solution every now and then to spray some out. And then I'm going to do the entire floor. But when you're done, this will be dirty. Simply take this off. You can see it already picked up some dirt right here. Solution. And you just simply peel this off. It comes off just like that. All right. And you can put it back on and say, for instance, you made a mistake. Just press it back down here on the swifter. Like this. Place it down like that. And you're back into action in doing this. You replace this, get refills if you need to. So overall, this works pretty well. Swifter makes some great products. This is just their latest product that actually works well. Has solution for those heavy traffic areas. It has over 300 phalanges on the pad to help get up all the dirt and grime. So this is the Swifter Power Mop. This is how you use it, how you assemble it, how you put it together. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you have a good time cleaning. Thanks a lot for watching.